Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different type of video for you guys. Um, as always, ideas just pop into my head. I have no clue if anybody had done this in the past. If somebody has, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to credit them for the idea. So today I want to share with you guys brands that I feel um, are doing it well. They're doing it well and I'm really enjoying them. And you know, I'll explain to you a little bit more, but before I get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it. And let's get on with the video. Now when I'm telling you guys that brands are doing it well, what I mean is they're staying away from drama. They're not constantly releasing things. They're not really following trends too much. And I feel like they're really on point the things that are coming out from them I'm really enjoying and I'm just loving their whole entire brand as a whole how they present themselves how uh, they come about releasing products what they're releasing um, so on and so forth so I did come up with a few uh, brands that I wanted to share with you guys if there is drama behind any of these brands I have absolutely no clue this is me just me knowing from what I have seen what I have been enjoying so I apologize if any of these have had drama and I have no idea but to me they don't have any drama so the first a brand that I do have is Smashbox they tend to be very traditional the looks are not even the looks the uh the releases that they have are not constant going and going and going they do a big releases but they give the consumer enough time to use the products I feel I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed and bombarded which is a theme you're gonna constantly hear throughout these brands but I really do like Smashbox they cater to the everyday person the makeup artist because they come out with kits and palettes and um, easy to use like for instance they the, the thing that my mom got me for Christmas it brings eyeshadows the contour three palette set it brings blushes all in one where you're saving yourself money you can use all the products and it is a bit of a variety of what you can get I uh, just recently got their liquid lipsticks they haven't really released a lot of liquid lipsticks they just came out with the metallicized ones this year but it took them a year to do it and they're not constantly jumping on the trend the trend brand or the trend train I should say so I'm, I'm liking Smashbox I've always been a fan of Smashbox and you guys have heard me nonstop talk about Smashbox for years the next one that I do have is Laura Geller. Laura Geller is one of those oldies but goodies. I have mentioned this quite a few times. I knew about Laura Geller way before YouTube even started. My mom was a QVC HSN fan and still is. And she's the one that introduced me to a ton of her products. One being the... Uh, the foundation, the powder, the baked foundation. Her blushes are amazing. She seems to know it well. She releases things nice and easy. She always has kits to help out those consumers that can't afford one single blush. I, I like her style. I like her style. I like her way of... I like her products because they're not over the top either. Her packaging is not over the top. I don't feel like any of these brands that I'm mentioning are are over the top so that's another one that I do love and I, I feel like she has no drama which is awesome next up is bare minerals ah, again another one of those oldies but goodies for me I love bare minerals I am such a fan of them they cater again to the everyday woman those that want more of uh, knowledge of you what you're putting on your face they offer a lot of powder products and that's how they started out and those last so much longer than a press pro a product and I've known because I've panned some in the past so I do love them I have always loved them I still continue to use them they have come out with holiday kits holiday palettes and you guys they're still them they're not following trends they're still them but they're doing their thing and I, I love that because it's hard to be able to find a good brand that'll come out with the everyday type of thing because now everyone's doing something bright bold metallic glittery you know we, you know what I'm talking about the next one that I have is makeup forever makeup forever really does cater to the makeup artist so they tend to think that way mentally 
so they're not releasing things constantly the things that they do release they put really good thought into them it's very rare for me to find a makeup forever product that i purchase that i do not like their eyeshadows are amazing um i do want to try their concealers i tried a foundation sample size and i really enjoyed it they have great primers from what i hear i do have a sample size that i want to get to eventually and try it out myself so their things are not again over the top their packaging is not over the top the products that they do release they're bold but they're not trendy if that makes any sense like i feel like they still stick to their their way of doing things but with their own twist to it and i love them i love makeup forever products another one that i feel like is an old school one is laura mercier she sticks to her guns she knows what works she knows what um you know what will help out the everyday woman man whatever it is that um, is purchasing her products she has great products overall i love her blushes her loose powder is a cult favorite everywhere that i see anyone doing anything everyone loves that for years i feel like her bronzers are really really good her highlighters are good it's just her packaging is very sleek and sophisticated it makes you feel makes you feel expensive but not too expensive it doesn't give you that little teen beanie boppy type of feeling um she has products in there that stand out but still work so you don't look all out there or trendy or just in right now so i do like laura mercier again that's another one that i would say is another drama free on their own kind of brand Clinique is another one. Clinique is very to themselves. They were known for their skincare back in the 90s. I remember my mom and my aunt would buy constant. My aunt actually worked at a Clinique counter, so I did try a lot of things from Clinique when I was in my early 20s. So I, I have a feeling, so I have a feel for the brand and I do like them. They again do their thing. They have nice products out there. They stick to their products that they like. They're not constantly releasing things. Their packaging is sleek. Their eyeshadows are really good. I feel like they are underrated and they're trying to come back and trying to get into the game, but they're still sticking to their nor uh, their Clinique style, which I like. The last two that I have is It Cosmetics and Bobbi Brown. It Cosmetics has been expanding a lot more of their products but they're still sticking to their trying to help the everyday woman um, when it comes to skin issues when it comes to um, making yourself feel good and doing and putting good ingredients in their products as they release new products they're still keeping their core in and i do love that i love their products their brushes are amazing I have raved about it cosmetics for a very long time one of my very first hauls ever on youtube involved in cosmetics products because I just love them so much and Bobbi Brown's another one the very first thing I ever tried from Bobbi Brown was their salmon concealer corrector my aunt had given that to me and I tried it loved it used the whole thing up um, she's a very sophisticated when I think of Bobbi Brown I think of that elegant sophisticated woman you know her shimmer bricks are amazing I just recently got a uh, sample size of her bronzer that I do want to try. I've never tried her blushes, but I know that they are uh, good from what I hear. Lipsticks, liners, she also caters to that woman that wants to look natural but beautiful, enhancing your, your natural features basically. Nothing trendy, nothing over the top, and if she does do limited edition releases, she still keeps her style in it as well. So these are just a few brands that I feel are sticking to their style, sticking to their core, what they've always been known about, but still coming out with new products that are great for the everyday woman, great and not trendy, they're not into the trends, they're not into the drama, they're not into this PR massiveness, the releasing constantly. These are the, the brands that I tend to go for because I feel like they, they make me pace myself. They allow me to use their products. They allow me to fall in love with their products to be able to be ready for their next release. I'm not saying that the other brands that I didn't mention don't do this or the brands that are constantly releasing things are not good because I do like to see new things. As you guys know, I love color. I like bright boldness, what's in, what's not in. But sometimes 
You just want to be left alone and just play with your makeup. So I just wanted to share these companies with you guys. If you guys think of any companies that are drama free, they stick to what they know, they stick to their cores, let me know in the comment section. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more out there that I'm just not aware of or that I actually honestly forgot. So thank you guys again for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.